The Devil and Daniel Webster, Part 3, and this is the second part of the text. I am beginning on the third paragraph where it begins, Daniel Webster's brow looked dark as a thundercloud. What a wonderful use of simile. I will begin reading. Daniel Webster's brow looked dark as a thundercloud. Pressed or not, you shall not have this man, he thundered. Mr. Stone is an American citizen, and no American citizen may be forced into the service of a foreign prince. We fought England for that in 12, and we'll fight all hell for it again. Foreign, said the stranger, and who calls me a foreigner? Well, I never yet heard of the dev of your claiming a American citizenship said Daniel Webster with surprise. And who with better right, said the stranger with one of his terrible smiles. When the first wrong was done to the first Indian, I was there. When the first slaver put out for the Congo, I stood on her deck. Am I not in your books and stories and beliefs from the first settlements on Am I not spoken of still in every church in New England? Tis true the norm, North claims me for a Southerner and the South for a Northerner, but I am neither. I am merely an honest American like yourself and of the best descent. For to tell the truth, Mr. Webster, though I don't like to boast of it, my name is older in this country than yours. Aha, uh -huh, said Daniel Webster with the veins standing out in his forehead, then I stand on the Constitution. I demand a trial for my client. The case is hardly won for an ordinary court, said the stranger, his eyes flickering, and indeed, the lateness of the hour. Let it be any court you choose. So, it is an American judge and an American jury, said Daniel Webster in his pride. Let it be the quick or the dead. I'll abide the issue. You have said it, said the stranger, and pointed his finger at the door. And with that, and all of a sudden, there was a rushing of wind outside and a noise of footsteps. They came clear and distinct through the night, and yet they were not like the footsteps of living men. In God's name, who comes by so late, cried Jebus Stone, and an egg, an egg in that case means like a shaking, and an egg of fear. The jury, Mr. Webster demands, said the stranger, sipping at his bowling glass. You must pardon the rough appearance of one or two. They will have come along. Way. At the end of this section, I want you to think, who possibly could be a part of this jury that the devil has selected? Keep in mind that the members of this jury must be American, but they could be dead or alive. And the devil has made that choice. So who from American history would you think could possibly be someone the devil might choose to be on the jury to help decide if Jebus Stone can declare his soul his own and take back the mortgage on his soul. When you comment, please make sure you click the turn in button on Edmodo. Thank you.